flu shot for weeks. Last year, about 80,000 people died from influenza in the United States. Well, there is a brand new medicine to treat the flu. It just came out. It will be available at your pharmacies very soon. Here to tell us more about it is Dr. Saman Soleimani, the president and CEO of Avicenna Medical. So this is, it was just approved by the FDA in October. Yes. Tell me a little bit about this, uh, this particular medicine and how it differs from Tamiflu. Sure. So it's the first antiviral medication for the influenza in more than two decades. It's called Zofluza. And um, it's different from Tamiflu because it is a single dose treatment versus with Tamiflu, if you are diagnosed with influenza, you have to take the medication twice a day for five days. And sometimes compliance is an issue with patients being mm -hmm. able to finish it out. This is a single dose medication. One pill? One pill only and you're done. One capsule actually. And one of its other biggest advantages and differences between Tamiflu is that it's been shown to stop shedding of the influenza virus within 24 hours of you taking that first dose, which is significant. Wow, so that means once you take it, you're not contagious 24 it, hours later. And, and that obviously, I mean, especially with you as a physician that does family medicine, you see how it spreads like crazy among, among families, among sure. classrooms. I mean, typically for majority of people, despite last year, Roughly 80,000, you know, greater than 80,000 uh, fatalities occurred in the United States due to influenza and its complications. Um, but generally, influenza for people that are healthy under the age of 65, it's considered to be more of just a nuisance than anything else. You know, you get sick, you get over it. The problem is, is the propagation and you shedding the virus that you end up giving it to somebody else that ends up giving it to somebody else and that becomes kind of exponential. So uh, having a medication that's able to stop shedding of the virus within 24 hours really nips that in the bud. I know you said that you did some calling around to see when this would be available and, and we're just a, a couple of weeks away from having it in our yeah, stores? It's in the pharmacy systems um, and supposedly it's in their warehouse. So my, I've been told that within a week or two it should be available for prescription um, to be filled. When it comes to insurances, do they tend to catch up quickly no. when something is, is approved for the FDA? So this, um, this may be something that you have to pay out of pocket, which, yeah, by the way, Tamiflu isn't for, covered by a lot for of most, Yeah, for most insurances, uh, patients even have difficulty getting Tamiflu covered. But this, as a single dose, it is priced at $150. Um, and, you know, it, it is pricey, but then again, if you think about passing it on to the rest of your family, friends, schoolmates, it may be a small price to pay and then you feeling better and hopefully preventing any complications, bronchitis, pneumonia, ending up in a hospital and so on. Absolutely. I mean, Tamiflu it really runs about the same price point, you know, as well. Pretty what, much. what about side effects? Um, side effects with this actually have been considered very minimal. The, the number one side effect that's been reported um, through the medical studies mm -hmm. since that has not hit the public is some diarrhea uh, where Compared to Tamiflu, Tamiflu has headaches, uh, body aches, which um, kind of is not so great when you already have the mm -hmm. flu anyways, but there's also been some cases uh, known with hallucinations and some uh, psych issues with Tamiflu that is not associated with Zofluza because they have completely different mechanisms of action of how they fight against the influenza virus. The other advantage of Zofluza is that it also works against resistant strains of the influenza that Tamiflu and the other uh, anti-influenza medications we currently have don't work don't against. Don't work against. Yes. So it, on a broader scale. So the H1N1, all the other, you know, the crazy flus yeah. we had, bird flu, all those, it works against all of them across the board. All right. It's something that you definitely need to ask your doctor about. Thank you for coming in and talking Absolutely. to us about this. Thank you. And Scott, back to you. A large diamond is making